Today's edition of Mac Voices is brought to you by lynda.com, the unparalleled online video training library with over 3,000 on-demand courses to help you strengthen your business, technology, and creative skills. For your free 10-day trial, visit lynda.com slash macvoices. That's l-y-n-d-a dot com slash macvoices. lynda.com is for problem solvers, for the curious, for people who want to make things happen. Because you want to master Excel, learn negotiation tactics, build a website, or boost your Photoshop skills. Go to lynda.com and satisfy your curious mind. Some of the recommended courses include Excel 2013 Power Shortcuts, Going Paperless, Start to Finish, iPhone and iPad Security Fundamentals, Income Tax Fundamentals, Bootstrapping Your Business, Getting Started with MakerBot 3D Printers, and Shooting with the iPhone 5S although that can apply to the six just as easily. I've been taking lynda.com courses to help me improve my video production skills. I love the fact that I can watch anywhere, anytime it suits me, on my Mac, iPhone, and iPad, and the fact that I can go back and watch something a second or even third time to make sure I understand it. lynda.com lets you earn from top experts who are passionate about their subjects and passionate about teaching them. There's even a playlist feature so you can browse through lynda.com's courses then queue them up to be ready when you are. Your Lynda.com membership will give you unlimited access to training on hundreds of topics, all for one flat rate. Whether you're looking to become an industry expert, you're passionate about a hobby, or whether you just want to learn something new, I want you to visit lynda.com slash macvoices and sign up for a free 10-day trial. That's l-y-n-d-a dot com slash macvoices for 10 days of learning for free. Thanks to Lynda.com for their support of Mac Voices. Welcome to Mac Voices. This is the talk of the Mac community, and I'm Chuck Joyner. This is a Mac Voices briefing on Doodle, the service that makes scheduling meetings with multiple parties a simple matter of point and click, rather than doing the email shuffle back and forth on this date so that it suits this person, but not the other person, and only the third date suits the first person, and so on. I've been using Doodle for some time now, both to help schedule Mac Voices shows as well as at the office and can tell you there's no easier way to organize any kind of event at a mutually convenient time for all parties. To use Doodle, you don't even need to register or have an account, although there are advantages to both. Get started by visiting doodle.com and click on the Schedule an Event box. You can then give your event a title and an optional location and description. Set your name and your email address, the latter of which is necessary for Doodle to send you an administrator link to your poll. Note that I said administrator link because this link applies only to this poll and does not create a Doodle account. Next, you choose the date or dates for your proposed event by clicking on them in the calendar. Non-contiguous dates can easily be selected, even crossing months. Now, choose the times for each of the days. You can opt to select the same times for each day of all the days selected or pick completely different times for each day. Doodle is totally flexible and easily adapts to your needs. Before you leave this page, pay special attention to the time zone option if you're scheduling across a broad geographic range. This is where some of the real power of Doodle comes in. Choose your country and then your time zone. When your invitees receive their invitations, they can choose their time zones and their countries, and the dates and times are automatically adjusted. At this point, you can be done if you wish, or you can add some additional settings to make your poll even more flexible and useful. The Yes, No, If Need Be checkbox adds an additional option for an invitee to select a time that is not ideal, but could work for them. The Hidden Poll option prevents the invitees from seeing anyone else's responses. If you choose this option, only you will be able to see all the attendees' responses. The next two options apply only to premium accounts. The participant can only choose one option setting should be chosen if you want to limit the invitee to only one time slot rather than selecting from any or all that are available. Finally, you can limit the number of participants per option. For example, if your conference call service has a limited number of slots, once the designated number of participants have been reached, then that option is removed from the view of any subsequent respondents. The final step is to invite the participants. 
There are a couple ways to do this. First, you can manually enter or cut and paste their email addresses into Doodle and let Doodle send the message for you, or you can have Doodle provide you with a link that you can distribute yourself. You can also speed up the process by connecting your Google or iCloud address book to Doodle. You're done. Two emails have been sent to you. One contains the participation link, the other the administration link. With the former, you can invite anyone you wish. With the latter, you can log into Doodle to make changes, close, or completely delete the poll. A quick look at the participation link shows you how it looks to your invitees. The administration link provides lots of options that are self-explanatory, including the ability to close the poll once enough respondents have replied, export the poll, and even contact the invitees, assuming you use Doodle to send them the invitation. To reply, participants need to enter a name, note that an email address is not required, and select the times that suit them. You might want to encourage them to be sure their time zone settings are correct, especially if they're not familiar with Doodle. They can also offer an optional comment if they wish before they save their response. That's it. You can now use the administration link to view the responses, pick the preferred time for your meeting once everyone or at least enough of your participants have responded, and then close or delete the poll. If you use Doodle to send the email invitations, you can even send a confirmation email and reminders to those whose time was selected. All that for free with no registration. Or you can create a free Doodle account that lets you access your account and polls without having to worry about retaining the administration link and to keep a record of all the times you've used Doodle and what for. Doodle offers premium levels with benefits such as being ad-free, SSL encryption, a custom subdomain for your Doodles, a custom design that can feature your company logo, a counter of how many people have responded to a given Doodle, something that's especially useful if you're managing a large number of attendees, and the ability to integrate Doodle into your own calendar. Two premium levels are available. The first, for $39 per year, gives you one premium user and one set of features. The $69 per year level gives you access to all the features and can be scaled up for teams to provide multiple premium users. I really like the idea that I'm not required to turn over any email addresses to Doodle, and attendees aren't required to give their email addresses to respond. The time zone support is a standout feature since it doesn't require me to know or understand where an invitee is located. That responsibility is on them, and they're much more likely to get it right. Frankly, I found the free level more than adequate for my uses, but I can easily see where the premium levels would be beneficial if you needed to manage large groups on a regular basis, or if corporate security and identity were important to you. If you schedule meetings, conference calls, or any kind of get-togethers with multiple people, especially across multiple time zones, I think you need to give Doodle a try. I believe you're going to love it. That's a Mac Voices briefing on Doodle. I'm Chuck Joyner. Mac Voices will be back with more soon. Thanks for watching. Visit macvoices.com for links, show notes, to subscribe, to connect with Chuck on Twitter, Google+, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, and the Mac Voices blog. Subscribe to our weekly newsletter, the Mac Voices Dispatch, to stay up to date on all the latest Mac Voices news from our front page or at macvoices.com slash newsletter. Do more with your Apple tech by subscribing to the free Mac Voices magazine on Flipboard by visiting macvoices.com slash magazine. Advertising and sponsorships handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.